What's up guys, here today to talk about the outside the waistband holsters from Bravo Concealment. So a while back I was contacted by Bravo Concealment regarding their affiliate program. And it was through that affiliate program that I received my first Bravo Concealment holster, which is their BCA outside the waistband light bearing holster. This particular holster is made for the Glock 17. It will also fit the 19 and of course their 40 caliber counterparts, the 23 and 22. These holsters are CNC'd from a polymer material, which is made by 3D scanning the actual firearm that the holster was intended for. And that is what is going to ensure for that precise fitment. So this polymer material, pretty lightweight, has some good flex to it. Um, you can see here, this is a paddle style holster, meaning that the attachment points for either your belt loops or your paddle attachments like I have here are gonna to be towards the outside. This is going to allow the holster to actually sit closer to your body, which is going to make it more concealable if you're wearing some sort of overshirt or a jacket. And it's also just gonna keep it lower profile to your body so it gets snagged on less things as you're walking by. This is a light bearing holster, so the holster itself will index off the light on your firearm. For example, you can see right here, I have a Glock 22 with a Streamlight TLR1, and it's gonna lock in nice. You're gonna get that good click as it locks in, and it has a good amount of retention, so that pistol's not gonna fall out. It's only gonna come out if you want it to. The BCA holsters from Bravo Concealment do have retention adjustment, so you can adjust that retention to your preference. I like to adjust my retention so that it's just snug enough to where if I shake this upside down, the pistol's not gonna fall out. So like I mentioned before, this is gonna fit both your Glock 17, Glock 22s, or it'll also fit your Glock 19s and Glock 23s with that Streamlight TLR1. The BCA outside the waistband light bearing holsters will fit a wide array of weapon lights. So you can go ahead and select whatever your preference is from the drop down list. So the first thing I did when I received this holster is I swapped out the belt loops for these paddle attachments. I really prefer these paddle attachments. It makes it really easy to pop it on and off uh, of your belts and you don't have to remove your belt in order to do so. This is advertised as fitting 1.5 inch belts, but I found that these paddle attachments work really well uh, with these 1.75 inch width uh, operator style belts. I have been wearing this uh, outside the waistband holster quite often uh, for almost a year now, this particular model and the one that I'll show you in just a second here. And the only issue I've had with this is this pistol actually got caught on an armchair while I was wearing it and one of the paddles snapped off. I contacted Bravo Concealment and they sent me a replacement within a week. So I did receive this holster for free through Bravo Concealment's affiliate program. However, I liked it so much, I picked up another one for my Glock 19. So this is my EDC Glock 19. Typically, I'm carrying this on an inside the waistband holster, but sometimes I do like to carry it uh, in an outside the waistband holster as well, depending on what I'm doing, what I'm wearing uh, on that particular day. So you can see here, I have the Holosun 509T and I have the Streamlight TLR-7 Alpha weapon light attached to this. So when I ordered this, I specifically selected to have the TLR-7 Alpha, and it fits great. Just like the other holster, this also has a retention setting that you're able to set to your preference. As far as clearance goes with the optic, you can see it's really close here, but it does clear, it does not bump into the holster. And this is actually with the holster in its lowest position, the closest that that red dot would be. You can also adjust these paddles to be a little bit lower in here, which is gonna bring your holster higher. You can also adjust each side a notch down or a notch up, and that's gonna add a cant, a forward cant, or a rearward cant to your pistol, depending on what your preferences are. So you'll notice that these holsters have an open end design, uh, meaning that if you're running an extended barrel or a threaded barrel, that's gonna work on here. What won't work is if you try to attach a compensator to those threads, there's not gonna be enough clearance on the end for that compensator to work. However, your threaded barrels will work just fine. You can see here on the Glock 19 specific holster, same thing, there is an opening there if you're gonna run a threaded barrel. However, again, compensators are not going to be compatible. 
Another important feature that I look for when purchasing a holster is the ability to get a good solid grip on the pistol when drawing out. So you can see here we have these paddle attachments and this is, like I said before, in the highest position. But even in this highest position, I can still get in there and get a solid grip on the, whole, on the pistol uh, before drawing out. These light bearing holsters are designed to be used with a light. If you attempt to insert a pistol that doesn't have a light, there will be no retention. It's not gonna hold it in place. It's not really even gonna sit in there particularly well. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when selecting your holster. Based on price alone, I was a little bit skeptical when I first received my first Bravo concealment holster. But after carrying these for almost a year, I'm super happy with it. And I would recommend you take a look at these if you're in the market for a new holster. You really can't lose. They have a 30 day money back guarantee and you can save 10% by using my promo code, which is robsolo10. So go ahead, use the link down in the description below. Use the code robsolo10 to save yourself some money. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.